To create a sphere, click New, double click on Part to open a new part document. Click Sketch, click the center line. In this case, I am utilizing the front plane for my sketch plane. Click the Sketch Plane. Sketch a vertical center line through the origin. Click Center Point Arc. Click the origin for the center point of the arc. Drag downward to create the start part of the arc coincident with the center line. Drag upward to create the end point of the line coincident with the center line. Click Smart Dimension. Click the circumference of the arc. Enter in a dimension value for radius. Select Features. Select Revolve Boss Base. Click Yes to close the sketch, otherwise you will have a hollow sphere. 360 degrees will create a solid sphere. Click OK. An atom contains different particles that can be represented by spheres. So to model this, I want to use different sizes. I'm going to click on the Configuration Manager, right click, and say Add Configuration. The first configuration I will create will have a diameter of 10, so I name it DIA10 and then click OK. Double click on the face of the sphere and change the radius from 25 to 5. Click Rebuild. That will give me a diameter of 10. Click OK from the Dimension Property Manager. I now have two configurations, Default and Diameter 10. I need to add another configuration. Right click from the Configuration Manager and click DIA 100. Enter DIA 100. And now when I double click on the sphere, I'm going to change the radius from 5 to 50. Make cer certain that the box says this configuration, so you're only affecting the dimension on the active configuration. Click OK. I now have diameter 100, diameter 10, and diameter 50. I can set the color by selecting on the face, clicking the color swatch of my choice, and the color of my individual spheres has changed, and I have the three sizes in the Configuration Manager, return to the Feature Manager and save the sphere. To create an atom, click New. Select Assembly, double click to create a new assembly. Click Cancel the red X from Insert Component. You first want to create a sketch on the front plane to represent where the electrons will be positioned. Click Sketch, click the front plane, click Circle. Sketch two circles to represent two rings of balance electrons. Click for Construction. You now have two construction circles. Dimension the two circles. The first one I am utilizing 200 for a diameter and then 300 for a diameter. Select the Point Sketch tool Click Positions Coincident with the Construction Circles on both the 200 diameter circle and the 300 diameter circle. These points represent the positions of the electrons. You can also be more specific to their location by adding additional construction lines from the origin. For example, with these two construction lines, I can define an angle between the two points on the inner circle. I entered 45 degrees and then we'll sketch another center line from the origin horizontally and create a dimension from the horizontal line to the angled construction line and enter in a value of 60 degrees. Click Exit Sketch to return to the assembly. You want to make sure the Sketch 1 is positioned above the mate's entry in the Feature Manager. So slide Sketch 1 up above the mate's entry if required. Click Assembly, click Insert Component, 
select sphere. Click the diameter 100 configuration and click open. Position the sphere at the origin of the sketch. Click insert component again, click browse, select the sphere. This time you want to select diameter 10 and click open. The diameter 10 configuration is displayed. Click a position next to the sketch circle. Click view origins to turn on the origins. You want to select the origin of the small sphere. Click mate. Click one of the points on where the electron will be positioned. Click coincident and click OK. You can hold the control key down and drag the second sphere from the feature manager into the graphics window. Click mate, click the origin, click a point on the valence electron circle, and click coincident. You can create a circular pattern under insert, component pattern, circular pattern. The circular pattern requires an axis. To create an axis, click Insert, Reference Geometry, Axes. Expand the assembly, click the top plane and the right plane, click OK to create a new axis. I'm going to drag the axes outward so I can clearly see it when working in 3D. The electrons will revolve around the axes. Click Insert, Component Pattern, Circular Pattern. Click the two small spheres that represent the electrons. Click View Axes to show Axes 1. Click Axes 1 as the revolve around axes. I entered 3 for the number of patterns of the two electrons I originally selected. Now I have the electrons around the sphere. Hide 